What is going on everyone? Hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to be helping you guys out with a fix for DirectX 12 titles in general. This is something I've talked about on the channel in the past, but it should help with issues with specifically Dead Space Remake as well as Hogwarts Legacy, which released in the last two weeks, both of which suffer from some form of stuttering or traversal stutter, hitching, whatever you want to call it. Both of those titles compile shaders, so we're not really seeing any issues there, but it doesn't mean that they are completely lacking any hitches or stutters whatsoever. And more often than not, this comes back to DirectX 12 and Control Flow Guard and something that you can go ahead and adjust on your Windows machine very easily. So let's get into it. But first, today's video is brought to you by KeysFan.com and their software super deal where you can get some of the best prices out there on Microsoft software, especially with my coupon code, you can get half off of Windows keys as well as 62% off on Microsoft Office products like Windows 10 Pro, Windows 11 Pro, and Office 2019 Professional Plus, and Office 2021 Professional Plus, and they've also got a bundle with Windows 10 Pro and Office 2019 in the same package. To save money on Windows 10 Pro, just go ahead and add the key to your cart, which starts off at $15 and 17 cents. But once you get into your cart, you can go ahead and apply my discount code at checkout YTB50, and that will give you a shocking 50% off, bringing the price down to just over $7 at $7.58. And when you proceed to checkout, you can pay with either a credit card or PayPal, whichever one happens to fit your needs. And this also applies to Microsoft Office products, but again, you're going to get 62% off on Office products with the code YTB62 at checkout. Applying that to the $67.40 price, Office 2019 brings the price down to a stunning $25.61. So I don't know what you're waiting for. If you need your software keys, head over to keysfan.com right now and be sure to use those coupon codes at checkout. YTB50 on Windows products for half off and YTB62 for 62% off on Microsoft Office products. Now, as I said at the top of the video, this is something that I have covered a couple of times on the channel. I did it for Control back in 2019, three years ago. The video did very well, 158,000 views, and it is still getting comments to this day, positive comments about people saying that they did this for so-and-so a game, and it helped them out. So hopefully it can help you guys out today as well with Hogwarts Legacy, Dead Space Remake, and any other future titles. So the way to do this fix, it's really quite simple, and then I'll kind of explain what it's doing after the fact. But focusing on the Dead Space Remake, which I was just playing, what you basically want to do is come down to your Windows icon, hit your Windows key, whatever, and in the search box, go ahead and type in the word exploit. And it's going to show this right here, exploit protection, and that is what you are looking for. Once you're in here, you want to go into the program settings, and you want to add a specific program to customize so that it's only doing it for one program. As you can see, I've done it for a few titles here in the past, Battlefield 5, Control, Elden Ring, Evil Dead, so on and so forth. So you're going to want to do that for basically any other DirectX 12 title by locating the executable file. So you're going to want to choose the exact file path when you click Add a Program to customize, uh, to customize this list. And you can see it already brought me to my Dead Space executable. And so, yeah, it'll be Steam libraries or wherever you happen to have games installed. This I got in Origin, so it's just installed on my NVMe game drive. So I would just go ahead and double click the Dead Space EXE here or any other game. Like I said, Hogwarts Legacy, same exact process. And then you want to scroll down in this list here and you're going to find an option for Control Flow Guard. You're going to want to click on Override System Settings and then you're going to want to go ahead, turn that off hit apply and it will say on here that you need to restart dead space but honestly restart your entire pc just to make sure that it works i've done it both ways and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't it for me like with dead space specifically i had to restart my pc to really notice it uh, actually working so do yourself a favor set your program that you need to do this for and go ahead and restart your pc and hopefully you should see some positive results as i said with dead space i i, I don't know maybe it was another take um <laughs> that i recorded this on but I, uh, I, I would say I saw a reduction in stutters and traversal stutters and things like that in the Dead Space remake by about 75 to 80%. It's not perfect by any means, but it is significantly better. Um, you know, every once in a while, I'll still see one like when I'm going into a brand new area or getting off the tram, opening certain doors here or there. But for the most part, just running through halls and getting into combat, I'm not seeing any big hitches or stutters anymore. So that is a huge relief 
um, for Dead Space, and this should also give you guys some benefits as well uh, in Hogwarts Legacy, which I briefly tested and ran around in Hogsmeade, and it did help with that game as well. So any games you're having direct issues with and they're DirectX 12, it's worth trying this and seeing if it'll make the game better. It really can't hurt too much. Now, exactly what is Control Flow Guard? I'm going to go ahead and admit right off the bat that it is a little bit over my head. I'm more into just playing games, testing them out, trying to get them work the best that I possibly can, and then sharing that information with you guys. So not a huge like security or networking type of person, but I've seen lots of videos and articles and stuff and, pe and things on Reddit of people talking about, you know, Control Flow Guard. And when you're doing it for a specific program, like a game, you are going to be pretty safe. Yes, if the game is online, you are technically open to the internet, but it's really one specific program. So unless the attackers are in Dead Space or like the Necromorphs, then I don't really know how they could uh, hack into your system, honestly. But Control Flow Guard is essentially a security feature for Windows 10, Windows 11 systems. I believe Windows 10 uh, is what introduced it, and it makes it harder for exploits to execute arbitrary code through vulnerabilities such as buffer overflows. Software vulnerabilities are often exploited by providing unlikely, unusual, or extreme data to a running program. For example, an attacker can exploit a buffer overflow vulnerability by providing more input to a program than expected, thereby overrunning the area reserved by the program to hold a response. The scheme possibly corrupts adjacent memory that may hold a function pointer. When the program calls through this function, it may then jump to an unintended location specified by the attacker. So essentially they can overload your program or sort of like DDoS it to uh, essentially get access into your memory, but the likelihood of that happening through Dead Space Remake I think is pretty slim to none. So I think this is a fairly safe fix. As I said, this is something I've been using going back to control in 2019, so paired up with a decent antivirus software, like even just Windows Defender or whatever, and some good old-fashioned common sense, you should be absolutely fine. And if you're really worried about it, I suppose you can just you can re-enable the flow guard option every time you're not playing a game. I guess that's one workaround for it. But I hopefully this uh, does help out you guys who are having any issues with DirectX 12 stuttering. Like I said, this was specifically geared towards Dead Space and Hogwarts. Um, but it can work for, for the vast majority of DX12 titles out there, and even Vulcan games as well. They suffer from very similar issues, not as often, but we also don't see Vulcan games as often, so we don't have as large a sample set to really say that it definitively does or does not happen less. Uh, we would just need more games, I feel, with Vulcan to really um, sort of figure that out decisively. But hopefully this helps you guys out. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about it, and if you're a smarty pants and you know everything there is to know in the world, about Control Flow Guard, please educate me in the comments. I would like to know. If you really think that this is something that is dangerous to disable in a system, if you're very familiar with Control Flow Guard and all that, and you have that knowledge, and you don't think it's safe, please let us know in the comments. And if it is safe, explain that to us as well. I just would appreciate it as a learning experience, not only for myself, but for other people. I, like I said, I looked into it a little bit, and it seems like with games, it's pretty darn safe, whereas other things like, it's I know Control Flow Guard can affect performance in Chromium-based browsers, so I could imagine disabling it for something like that could definitely be very risky as you're on the internet interacting with the whole world and all that stuff, so I could see some issues with that, but not really with a game, let alone a single-player game. So let me know what you guys think, and uh, if there's any experts out there, like I said, please feel free to educate us down in the comments below, because I can't really seem to find a whole lot of concrete information when it comes to specifically Control Flow Guard and PC gaming. There's a lot of other information out there, like I said, about Chromium browsers and causing issues with other programs, but not so much specifically gaming, just people on Reddit saying, hey, disable this and the game will run faster. But I would like to know the, the actual logic behind it and what's actually going on here. So if anyone can explain that, much appreciated. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Enjoy the Super Bowl. Hashtag Kelsey Bowl, I suppose. And I will catch you guys next time for another video. Peace.